one of the key tenets to using Django templates is behind the concept of dry, right? We don't want to repeat ourselves when we write out our code. One of those repetitive things, typically with HTML documents, is stuff like the head tag, also declaring the doc type that it is, um, even often the body tag. A lot of these things are repetitive with every web page. That is, if we want it to be valid, of course. So what we want to do is actually modify our pages so that every single one has roughly the same structure, but the content, the, the parts that need to change do. The other parts that don't, won't. So we want that on every single page. To do this, we're going to go into our templates folder and we're going to make a new file called base.html. Now, base.html is the convention. That means that Django developers and the core developers and developers outside of Django all call their one main file base.html. This is in contrast to something like index.html, if you know what that is. So base.html is going to be where we're going to have our home, right? It's like, it's like the, the main spot where all of our content is going to inherit from. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy homepage.html and paste it into base.html. Okay, so what I've got here is a lot of the stuff that we need. And then we had, you know, content that's directly related only to homepage.html. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And instead, I'm going to put something else here in just a moment. We'll talk about what that is. But there's other things that I can make this even cleaner. So inside of my templates folder, I'm going to make another new folder called base. And this is arbitrary. This is something I like to use. It's not necessarily a convention. And in here, I'm going to make a new file called css.html and another new file called js.html. And in there, what I'm going to do is actually add in my CSS and JavaScript. So inside of CSS, I'm going to come in here. And we'll do, um, we have to add in the static or load static tag. So that's the template tag to allow this to work. Okay, so we've got our CSS file. And then JavaScript, I'm going to do the same sort of thing. I'm just going to cut out all of this JavaScript here and bring it into JS. In this case, I don't have to have the static tag loaded, um, but I can do it in case I ever want to put some of my own custom JavaScript in there, which I might want to do at some point. So now our base is actually pretty bare bones, right? It's actually missing a lot of stuff um, that makes this even more valuable. So the first thing that I want to do is actually allow my homepage.html to work off of my base.html. So to do this, it's really simple. Um, I'm going to explain, I'm going to do it and then I'll explain what it is. So we'll go to extends base.html. And then I need to replace that area that I had. And what we use here is a template tag called block content or block, any block and then the block name. So you can say in block content or you could just write in block. So much like HTML tags themselves, whatever you open, you must close. So inside of this block content, I'm going to go ahead and grab all of those homepage related things, paste them in here, and I'm going to save it. Uh, I will bring this static file uh, back up here in case I wanted to use it somewhere. Um, and in this case, I actually have it in my block content or, or the area that I want to you know, override. Okay, so, and I've kept everything else, all right? So let's go ahead and save this. And then inside base.html, I need to put that same block content because this is what's going to be overwritten. So I'll say in block, okay? So this block content is replaced with this, all right? So let's save it. Let's go back into our homepage, press enter. Whoa, things look a little bit different. Now, why is that? Well, let's go ahead and view the source of this actual page. We see that we're actually missing some stuff. Now, that's something we'll talk about in the next one, but this is now very clearly in coming from our base.html. Now, this is even more clear if I say h1, or sorry, title tag up here and say 
um, base template and close off that title tag and put that same exact thing over on our base.html page, put title tag and say home template. Oops, sorry about that. Home page template. We save that. We'll refresh in here and what do we see? We see it says base template. We're gonna do this one more time, but we'll do it with our contact page. Okay, so let's go to our contact page and we see this is what it looks like, right? We've got styling, the button looks this way. Let's change it. I'm gonna go ahead and do extends base.html and then the stuff that's related just to this page has to do with all these divs. It has nothing else to do with anything. So I'm gonna cut those out and bring that same template tag that we we're using. What was the name of it? It was block content here. So back into that page, the contact view page, we say block content and in block. Paste everything in there, save, refresh. Now all the styling and everything goes away. Notice the button is different and obviously everything else is not styled correctly. I can go one step further and actually delete all of the other content in there. We save that, we refresh, it's still the same. Cool. So that is how our content stuff works. Now, if I change the name of this like to block content three and I refresh on this view, nothing is showing up. Well, at least nothing seems to be showing up, but if we look at the page source, we actually are still rendering out some HTML. So it actually is still working. It's just, it's not replacing the right block, right? So what would I have to do to change this to make it work? I would have to change that to three. Now, of course, we're not gonna actually do that, but it's just an example of what we do with templates. So in the next one, we're gonna actually talk about how to bring those other things back in as in the HTML or the CSS and JavaScript back into our HTML template. Stay with us.